Hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you're well. Today I'm back with another book review and today I am talking about Boy Parts by Eliza Clark. This, oh my goodness, I loved her second novel Penance which I read last year when I went to Durham for my birthday and this is her debut novel which came out first and yeah, I knew Eliza Clark was the kind of author that intends to shock but with this, let me tell you, there are so many trigger warnings, which I will kind of describe in this video. I won't go into what happens, but just so you're prepared, there's a lot of crazy stuff in this. First off, let me start by saying I did enjoy this book. You may leave the video there. I really enjoyed this, even though it intends to shock. It follows our protagonist, Irina. She is a photographer, but she has a bar job during the day, so she's kind of just trying to get by. And things have happened to her in the past, which make her the way she is. So she's an eclectic character. Like I said, she's a photographer, but she has a typical style. Oh, where do I begin? It's set between Newcastle and London, but to coincide with her dead end bar job, she does this photography on the side and they are like, the photos she does intend to shock. And it's kind of like when reading this book, I thought Eliza Clark, this is like intrusive thoughts all on a page. It was crazy, like what they're allowed to publish. But I guess these books are made to shock us. I can kind of imagine the kind of person Irina is. She is I guess like frosty and kind of lover or hater. She's a strong female. She's a definite feminist. Uh, I really like that. But just some of the things that happen in this book, which are very graphic, very to the point, and just discussing all like type of bodily fluids and all that kind of jazz and how she goes about getting photos. But it all relates back to something that's happened in her past. She has a few secrets we find out. She has a big one she's trying to hide as well, which I think is no surprise as to how she is. This kind of gives me, as well as her second novel, Penance, this gives me vibes of My Dark Vanessa. That made me super uncomfortable and really miserable for weeks as I read that. And I read this, I think, nearly two weeks ago, so I'm trying to remember as much as I can. But, oh my gosh, this, yeah, it's not my favourite Eliza Clark, but it's still like I would recommend you read this and I can't imagine what this was like as a one woman show on the West End or Broadway whatever it was. I just can't imagine that so that's art for you as well but it essentially follows Irina as she's trying to make her way in photography away from her bar, bar job and she's got her friend Flo, her boyfriend doesn't like Irina, the feeling is mutual and Irina she's looking for models for her next I guess group of photos and she becomes obsessed with this guy called Eddie and he works at Tesco's who she refers to as Eddie from Tesco. There were a lot of conflicts themes within this book and it felt a bit disjointed and messy at times but I guess that does reflect on Arena and her past such as different kinds of abuse, sexuality, friendships and how she portrays herself to others and she's just pretty unapologetic. It's kind of exploitative I guess in the kinds of photos that she describes in this book and I guess you could say if the tables were turned and this was a guy doing it what would you think then? But overall instead of like trying to give away what happens it did make me squeamish, but it is a Faber book, so they're the kinds of publisher who will make you think and make it a classic and just get you thinking all the time. I don't know what else to say about this, but this left me feeling very conflicted, like I said. A lot happened but didn't. Irina befriends men. She takes photos of them. She manages to quit her job. Isn't a spoiler, but then we unveil and find out why she is the way she is. I know that doesn't give a lot away, and you're probably thinking like, Lizzie, what kind of review is this? But like, I can't give too much away. There's, should say, substance abuse. The fact it's called Boy Parts might give you a clue as to what has happened. But yeah, if you enjoyed it or maybe you didn't, let me know what you think down below because I only know a few people who, who have read this in real life and I've seen some reviews online, but if you've got anything to say, please put it down below. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. So yeah, I'll be coming with a few more videos over the next few weeks, but here's just a short snappy one in the meantime. There's your little review for Boy Parts. Penance still remains one of my favourites and that was just like incredible. I'd recommend you read that too, but this too. If you like this video, please give it a like, hit subscribe if you want. It'd be great to have you here and I will see you in my next video. See you then.